YouTube fam. So today we're going to make one of my favorite breakfasts and that is protein gluten free banana bread. The recipe will be in my Instagram post. I will leave a link below. So to start off with turn your oven to 175 degrees. These are all the ingredients you will need. To start pour one and a half of the gluten free self raising flour into a bowl. half a tablespoon of baking powder and half a tablespoon baking soda. Here I'm just adding half a tablespoon of flax seeds. Then breaking up some pecans into the mix. I love my pecans. Then I will add some cinnamon and a scoop of vanilla protein, some nutmeg and a pinch of pumpkin seeds followed by some dairy free chocolate chips. So in a separate bowl crack two eggs, add half a cup of milk of your choice. I'm using almond milk. Then I'm adding a teaspoon of cinnamon sugar and a teaspoon of almond flavoring. Next, chop up all your bananas into a separate bowl and once you have finished, I've saved some bananas for my dogs because they absolutely love bananas. Next up, mash all the bananas together and it's best if you have bananas that are a few days old as this makes it easier to mush all together. Next, you want to add the mushed banana into the egg mixture and mix it all together. When you have finished mixing this all together, add this to your flour and then mix all together. I find this way it's just easier to mix everything together if I do them separately. Next you want to spray your pan with coconut spray or you can just use butter. Put your mixture inside the pan then add your toppings of choice. oven for 45 minutes to cook. It 
and after this time, take it out of the oven to see if it's cooked. I put a knife through the bread to see if the bottom is cooked. So here is what it looks like when it's cooked. And now I'm just going to have a piece with my morning breakfast. Usually I would have some coconut yogurt with this, but since I didn't have any coconut yogurt this morning, I'm just having some dairy-free coconut ice cream and a fresh beetroot and orange juice that I made before this video.